All right, very, very exciting stuff here on our morning show. We get to introduce you to our morning show producer, one of our rising stars here at KITV4, ladies and gentlemen, Brandy Higa. Brandy, how are you doing this morning? Good, Dan. Thanks. How are you? Very good, thank you. Brandy just produced our, our morning newscast uh, this Thursday morning, but uh, she's also been doubling as a sports reporter, a live sports reporter. She uh, a little, does it all a little bit. And uh, first of all, well, how'd the show go? Um, it was actually one of our better shows. We had um, Pamela Young from KITV. <laughs> Showed up. She's um she's having her mixed plate anniversary special. She's amazing. Um, somebody brought food. The show's always good, and people bring us free food. But yeah. 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 And then and then what about the sports? What about the with the wearing two hats? First of all, is your first love the sports reporting and and doing that kind of thing? Um, I'd have to say I'm two timing it. I I enjoy producing as well, Jeannie. And um, <laughs> Jeannie being our news director. <laughs> but um. I have to say my love for sports is growing. Yes, it is. And you've already done a number of stories. Uh, tell us what you've uh, covered so far. Um, well, my first package was on Zumba, of course. So I found this strange story where in Kalihi Valley, there's a Zumba class hosted, I mean, taught by um, an HBU alum who was also a starting outside hitter um, <laughs> back in her day. And then all of the UH Wahine volleyball players, um, their moms were in the class for some reason. So... That was my first package, and I just recently did one on um, Brad Lawson, Stanford standout, who's um, who sang the national anthem at the UH game last week, and he's sung the national anthem at not only UH games but soccer, softball, you name it, up at Stanford, and he's probably has just as much potential to succeed as a musician as he does a volleyball player. That's cool. And you could also catch Brandy on our uh, our Friday football coverage for high school. Let's see, you're live. Where have you been live so far? Um, just Kailua High School last week, and it looks like Rose- uh, Farrington Roosevelt is in the uh, probably going to win this week. They're winning by about 57% right now. They have about three more hours to vote, so... <laughs> Looks like Farrington's going to be this week's winner. All right, and uh, so far, KITV4 is the winner because we've hooked up with this amazing talent, Brandy Higa. Be sure to watch for her. Remember, she's our morning show producer as well. We're lucky to have her. Brandy, thanks for uh, letting us uh, ambush you like this as you walk out of the no, control. I have no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Dan. You bet. All right, that's it to KITV4. You know what? We're going to continue to introduce you to all of the talent we have here on our KITV4 morning newscast. You never know what you're going to find. There's all kinds of uh, diamonds in the rough. Uh, I hope I'm one. <laughs>